Do you need me to say anything like one, two, three, four, or are we all set? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. A better thing that you or your congregation can do than to join Team World Vision. For you know, obviously, as you can hear from my accent, I was born and raised in South Africa, and so I've seen firsthand the effects of uh, global poverty, AIDS, you name it. I saw that and experienced that. And a couple of years ago, when for a number of different reasons, we moved here to America in Chicago to work with the church called Willow Creek Community Church. Uh, we moved here and I kept wondering, hey, but what is my role as an individual uh, in this thing called you know, global poverty? We're finding that um, whether you're a believer in Jesus Christ or not, um, there's something within all of us that wants to help other people who are in need. And so it's a fantastic opportunity um, to share our faith and to, to show people what our church is all about. We were praying, Lord, how do we, how do we let people know our hearts? And to see that it's not about us, it's about God's world. And literally, we've stumbled into this this process with World Vision, of Team World Vision. The last time I ran a race, I was 20. So it was like 24 years ago, and it was a 10K, and I hated it. So when the idea came to run the Chicago Marathon, not an interested taker, because I just hate running. I wasn't really the type of guy that ran any type of long distance at all. Uh, I was the type of guy who would go to gym and do the good old 20 minutes on the treadmill. One of the major things that actually sold me on running the marathon was to do it with such a worthy cause as World Vision. Uh, Ryan, our worship leader, came to me and said, Bob, we should do this. And, you know, he goes, but it really will work as if you and I are in it because we're leaders. After thinking about it and actually praying about it, I decided, let's give it a shot. We really didn't think maybe but one or two people out of maybe a thousand would actually say, we'll run the marathon. I mean, who comes to church on a Sunday morning and signs up to run 26.2 miles? Nobody. Uh, but we made the ask. We put the challenge out there and uh, had no idea how people were going to respond. I, I thought to myself, yeah, maybe we'd get 30. 20, 30. Then all of a sudden, it's a hundred. We had no idea so many people would sign up. And to our surprise, out of our two services, 50 people said yes. And so at the end of the service, we said, hey, you heard about everything that we said, so come to the front. The, the sizes and the shapes of the people that came down the aisle that Sunday, I'm going, oh, wow. I mean, is this going to be a ride? I remember seeing the fear in their eyes when they decided, I'm going to give it a shot. I would say most of the people who decided to run they didn't like running either. I mean, they were like not fans of running, but they had a commitment to make a difference around global poverty, and they were challenged personally. We would get up early every Saturday morning and do our long runs together. And you see the same faces, the same people. We inspired one another, we shared stories. I had three simple goals. Hate running less each time I ran, train well enough to make it to the starting line, and finish before the course closed thing that got me through this was, was thinking about the kid in Africa that needed hope, that needed life. And I was like, hey, man, God, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for a kid. But for children, for the hungry and the poor. And, and kids' lives are being changed. And uh, a lot of people from your church who signed up, their lives are changed. If we had tried to write a check as a church to World Vision, it would have dwarfed in comparison to what actually was raised by people. I had no problem raising support and going to my family members and my friends. Because people took ownership personally in this. I mean, it, they were personal owners of something they were doing. They are running a marathon, and their ask to friends and family was actually quite easy. I would really encourage pastors and churches to give us a try. It's really a unique way to experience raising funds for God's world. Give your congregation the challenge, and I think you'd be blown away how many people will respond. This process has brought out the best of this congregation. You know, many of us, we know the issues that are out there, and it's so easy to get to a place to go, man, I just don't even know how to get involved. And you know what? Um, team World Vision offers you an opportunity to not only write a check, 
but do something so much greater, something that totally transcends that, and that is for you to get involved.